Ciao. Welcome to City Passport. I'm Melanie Felice. Luscious green rolling hills, blooming grapevines. If you haven't guessed yet, we're in Napa Valley, California. I wasn't kidding when I said beautiful green, luscious rolling hills and blooming grapevines. The drive from Napa to Calistoga is one that can't be surpassed. Napa Valley has it all. Wine tasting, shopping, markets, whatever you fancy, Napa Valley will satisfy. Here we are in the beautiful Oxbow Market in Napa Valley, California. This building was originally designed by Steve Carlin, who designed the Ferry Building, which is a very popular building in the Bay Area. It was originally designed to be a hangout for the locals and a place the visitors would want to visit. It's not a typical Napa Valley location. Here you can actually do your grocery shopping, get your spices, your meat, your cheeses, do some spirit tasting, grab your olive oil for your dinner. It truly is a gem of one-stop shop for your weekend get-together. It has a lot to do with being a gathering place, great restaurants, great little shops, and it's just right in the middle of Napa Valley. What could be a better? A morning of shopping at the market can leave you famished, so I've decided to pick up a traditional Italian pizza from Kamomi. to visiting some of my favorite wineries in Napa Valley, but also visiting some new ones as well. One of the new wineries I visited was Visa Tui. From their picnic area, private romantic patio, and scenic views, and my private tour and wine tasting, it has easily become one of my favorites. We're at Visa Tui Winery, and I'm here with Donica Satui. Hello. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about what your role is here at the winery. Um, I work in the main tasting room, pouring wine, selling wine, educating about wine, um, and I also work in our social media, Facebook, Twitter, you know, all the new stuff. Very <laughs> fun. Yeah. So obviously the last name. Yes. <laughs> you might have a little relation to the owner. Can you give us a, a brief history? Bit. So our winery was started back in the 1800s by my great-great-grandfather, Vittorio Satui. Um, closed during Prohibition and then reopened here in the mid-70s by my uncle Dario Satui. So he, we're fourth generation owned. I'm fifth generation, so pouring some wine. <laughs> I love it. Well, it's beautiful grounds. We love the tour. Now I want to get into some wine. Some Show wine? me what you have. So right here we have our famous Gamay Rouge. It's a sweeter style rosé, great with popcorn. <laughs> you want to try Ooh, some? yes. Refreshing on a cool day. Goes good with barbecue. And I love popcorn, so. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. We started making this one in 1979, so it's been around Napa for quite a while. Wonderful. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the grapes and your vineyards. Well, we um, have property here on our state. We own property all over Napa Valley and a little bit outside of Napa County. Um, everything is made right here on our property, so we truck the grapes in from all over. Um, we make a lot of different wines, reds, whites, good varieties, something for everyone. We have um, picnicking, bring your kids, bring your family, your friends, you bring your little dog if you want, <laughs> hang out. Um, we have food you can enjoy here, grab a bottle, we'll open it, you can relax. One thing. I learned also about your winery is that you are one of the very few wineries that allow weddings here. We do. We do a lot of events, corporate, private owned events. Um, we're grandfathered in. So we're one of the older wineries in Napa, which allows us to have the deli, the barbecuing, 
and events. So we do a lot of weddings. Maybe I'll get married here one day. Yes! <laughs> so we do do weddings and they're beautiful, especially with the grounds of roses, great uh, pictures out in the vineyards. Mm -hmm. It's a great backdrop. So you're born, also born and raised here. I am tell born me, and raised. Tell me about the valley and how it's evolved since uh, well, since I since you were born. born. Um, <laughs> it's changed quite a bit. There's, um, you know, definitely growth. I run through the vineyards quite often in the morning, you know, get my day started. And I see a lot of houses being built and wineries, but it's still all nature. It's beautiful, you know, there's, um, a lot to see here. So I haven't been to all the wineries in Napa. <laughs> a lot of people come from Italy mm -hmm. to Napa and they say, oh my God, it's so beautiful. We definitely have a warmer climate than Europe. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have an intern who's living with me right now from France and she's like, it's everybody's dream in Europe to live in California and Napa is like the best. Wow, I well, do. So it's pretty obvious one. just driving through and seeing the rolling hills and of yeah. course, getting to visit a beautiful winery like yours. Yeah. Wine, birds chirping. Yes. Can't get well, thank any Thank you better. so much for having us. Yeah, One absolutely. more time. Salute. Cheers. Thank you for joining me on my Napa Valley adventure. But don't go too far because the adventure continues.